You hate kickers. Your kicker didn't attempt a field goal for like what, no. That's six why weeks? we we just did red zone all week. We just practiced red zone so that we would just go down there and we knew we were gonna be able to score. Never have yeah. to kick. Right. That's revolutionary. Was that actually like part of your thought process? I actually like, been you know I mean we're gonna try to adopt. I'm gonna make a proposal for the XFL. Like we're just gonna do the 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 two the. I like that. The uh-huh. one, the two, own, and the three. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Just points. put it on the three. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be like, no, put it on the ten, and the rest will be like, sir, you can put, you can <laughs> take like, no, it. No, we're going closer. to the ten. No, I want the ten. When you brought in Cody Parkey, did you have a moment where you're like, so, what happened there? No, just uh, try to evaluate what his confidence level was, and 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 he did a nice job for us. And you know, we did. We went through some turbulent waters with, with the kicking game, and. Uh, you know, it's something that, that we'll have to certainly um, improve on. Okay. Do you need uh, an extra camp leg? Yeah, we, we are, we are, we're looking for, uh, you know. I don't know if you saw any of the film. From I, I did it. I did it. I apologize. I no, I've, I've heard better. about it. It's I've probably heard better. about it. But I think sometimes with those glasses, I think it can throw off if they're not polarized or that sports lens that you uh-huh. kick with the glasses. Well, I'll get the visor going. Yeah. I'll get LT a reflect- like there, Yeah, it'll work. Mm-hmm. It'll work. If you need a camp leg, I'm deadly accurate from 35 yards. In the middle of the season, you're like, you know what? The answer to all my problems is Ryan Tannehill. Mm. Well, you know, there was we all needed to play better. We needed to coach better and play better. Um, and it was a move that I thought was best for the team and in the best interest. And Ryan took advantage of his opportunity. It was crazy. I mean, you guys were such a big story, I feel like, of this season and how you finished this, the season, how you went in the playoffs. Um, do you Are you worried at all, though, in the offseason? Like, we talked about this at the beginning, having that momentum carry over. It won't. I, I don't think. I think confidence. And this was, no, this was the same message that I gave our team, that the confidence that we play with and practice with can carry over. But the momentum has to build throughout the week. You have to have a good practice on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, tighten things up. And it's got, you know, I mean, the momentum during football games, it, you can't just say, oh, we're, we're just going to start off hot and we're going to have a fast start. And if we don't have a fast start, then, you know, then we just can everything. But the confidence that you play with, like, you know, I'm trying to relate something athletically that, that you may or may not have done. This, this podcast. Uh, maybe might take maybe you were, ch- you know yeah, what I mean, when you're ripping those hot dogs, right? Yeah. Yes. Good point. And I'm like, the first run was like, okay. I've been training I was coming all my out life of those cuts. This. Yeah, I've been yeah. coming out of those cuts. And I'm the, the hot the dogs are going down easy. You're, yep. you're building confidence and momentum, and then the next time you do it, you got to build that same momentum up. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I understand it. Now. So during the week, do you have? I know because down at LSU, they do like tell the truth Monday, no repeat Tuesday. Yeah, turnover Wednesday. They have like different names. Yeah, we just have day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, uh huh. Saturday. Did you come up with that? Wow, out of it, the box. It just kind of was, you know. When you play on Thursday, you back up the schedule. So Monday night football, you know, Thursday's a Wednesday, Friday's a Thursday, Saturday's a Wednesday. You always try to, you know. Saturday, Saturday you just blew Wednesday. my mind. Well, when Saturday's, you play on Monday. Uh, Wednesdays are for the boys. Yeah. Seek, eat, question, promo code take. You get $10 off. You've told me this story. I don't know if we said it out loud, but are you, after the whole Penn National deal, are you a little, do you have buyer's remorse that you didn't, Invest in Barstool because you said I, that I, I there do. was a day. There was time. a day where we would walk that. Lonnie Paxson was walk his laptop around, and it was the what janky. Year was that? Oh, oh, three. Okay, maybe uh, oh, four, yeah, five, oh, four, oh, four, oh, five. I mean, it was yeah. right yeah, around yeah, in there. Right, right. I can't remember. I mean, but it was it was janky, um, and it, and it was usually a, a couple clips and a smoke show, and we're like, Lonnie's like, hey, check out this site, and we're like, okay, you know, it's kind of cool. Um, and then I'm just, you know, really obviously, um, excited for you guys and what you guys have done and just gotten to know you guys. So no buyer's remorse. You could have invested. Should have. Could have bought the whole thing. Should have. Right at that moment. Would have. For like nothing. You might not have been as hungry though. If you had gotten fat and rich based on, you know, your early I am fat and rich. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Fat and rich is a great, that's a great name for like a country band or just, that's a good T-shirt, fat and rich. It's just life goals right there. Mm-hmm. That's it. All right, so it's the cat yeah, story. Yeah, that actually we'll would be a great right autobiography. Us. Fat and rich is a way to go through life. Uh huh. <laughs> it is. It's fun. It's a, it's my it's last a great question. life. You don't let it yeah, beat you down. Right. right. My last question, uh, just the name Dean Pees. Mm. That's just a funny name. That's a good question. Dean's yeah. amazing. If we would have made it Dean to the Pease. Super Bowl, Dean would have been the only coordinator to ever coach for three different teams in the Super Bowl. Whoa. That's wild. Patriots, Ravens, and then 
That's pretty and he, crazy. And he told me that after he retired, and I'm like, damn. Sorry, Dean. So are, right. you, are you just taking over the entire defense now? No, not the entire defense. We have a great staff still working through that process of, of who's going to call plays, but you know we have a great staff, and we added two new guys and looking forward to it. Oh, that was a great coach speech. Yeah, that was very good. Like, and it ended we're still on, working through that process. Uh -huh. You know exactly and, who's going to be calling Ended on coach year. speak. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, you, you ended know, on you, coach you know, speak. You have a plan for everything. We're like, yeah, we're still working through that process. We're talking to the right guys. We're, we're trying to formulate our, our, our protocol for next year. <laughs> you know, and we're then we'll see The matrix. Happens. We're building a yeah, matrix. we're trying to yeah. just put our guys in the best place to win on Sundays. That's all you got to do as a coach. It's perfect. You got to get your guys <laughs> in the right mindset to compete. And there's a fine line. Through there's, this a, process. There's, a, there's a fine line between having fun and then reverting back to coach speak. It's yeah. actually, I try to think that it's an art. Click right yeah. back into it. Cool. Um, are you getting anything? All else? set. All right. Dean Coach Vrabel. Always. Vrabes. Vrabes. There you go. Thank you. We got to go to a game this year. Come on down. Bring the podcast. Let's go one on one versus Bussin. Ooh. And I think the Bears might be playing in Nashville this year. The Bears are playing. We. The Chicago drank Nashville dry last time. I heard. Arthur Bears. told me. Arthur yeah. showed me it videos of them taking happened. over. They drank all the yeah. beer off of Broadway. And that was when the Bears were like 8-1 and, and they were And they returning. destroyed. Yeah. I think it was like 55-21. We were returning every uh, interception for a touchdown, and then it just didn't sustain, and we just fucking cratered. I mean, I think it'd be cool to go down for the, the Thursday night Jaguars-Titans game. Yeah. Is that going to be so at your dish? Mm -hmm. Throwback Tradish, jersey. Co yeah. Color rush. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got Minshewed. Your ass got Minshewed. Second, third week. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was the start Thursday of Minshew Mania. How'd that feel to get Minshewed? Talk about a mustache. Yeah. Great mustache. Yeah. You were probably we like, were where's brutal. this guy coming we That's were probably brutal. why you grew your mustache out, because you saw that Minshew beat you, and Caught you're like, to be the man, mine, you got to beat Mine was sauce. grown after the season. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Braves. A lot of fun. Always. Thanks, Braves. Proud of you guys.